Flo Wrestling here with 2008 Ohio State place winner Justin Toth. Justin, what makes you more unique than probably pretty much everyone but every wrestler in the state but one guy? Um, I'm missing the lower part of my right leg. I had it, it they cut it off when I was born. Um, the umbilical cord wrapped around it and cut off the circulation to it, so I had to have a little part of it amputated off. What makes you like successful with, without having that lower half of your leg? I don't know. I just uh, I just do what everybody else does. I don't let it affect me. Don't let it bother me. I just go out, have fun, do whatever. Talk about life as a kid. Growing up, only got one leg. Um, I just basically hung out with. All my friends did whatever they were doing, played sports, rode bikes, I run, I, I did whatever anybody else was doing. You didn't let it limit you at all, huh? No, I didn't let it affect me. Okay. So, what would you say is the most extreme thing besides wrestling that you've done, as, you know, maybe as a kid, growing up with the leg, without the leg? I don't know, I used to play football when I was in middle school, but that's about it. Did you ever lose the leg? Yeah, a couple times. You did? Yeah. Did it like fly off or no, did you get... like I just get tackled and it like stay in my pants. Like it would just like fall off inside my pant leg or that my football pants or whatever. Okay. How'd you get involved with wrestling? Um, I started in seventh grade. Just my family is a big wrestling family, so I just and friends were wrestling that I knew, so I just decided to wrestle. Mm. Seventh grade I wrestled with my leg on until ninth grade, then I took it off and started wrestling with it off. Why'd you take it off? Uh, I was better. I was wasn't doing too good with it on. I, like limited my mobility. I couldn't move as much. Like it'd come off and fall off, and then the ref would stop the match every the time it'd fall off. Okay, so you start in seventh grade, wore the leg seventh and eighth grade, kind of took it off beginning of the ninth grade year. Walk us through the career wrestling without the prosthetic. In. Um, my ninth grade year, I wrestled JV for most of the year behind uh, one of the juniors. He was really good, Sam Nyman. And um, he got injured at the end of the year. He broke his nose, so then I got put in at varsity for like six matches and then uh, for uh, sectionals. And I was wrestling sectionals. I lost my first one to Tony Jameson because I had an 0-0 record going into sectionals, so I had to wrestle him. Then I won my second, I was wrestling again, and I dislocated my kneecap, so that ended my freshman career. And then sophomore year, I started off on varsity, had a above 500 record, like 16 and 12 or something. And then I dislocated my knee again. I came back, wrestled another match, and dislocated it again, so I was done for the rest of the year then. And I ended with like a 16 and 12 record, or 16 and 13 record. And then junior year, uh, it was a lot better. I didn't hurt, I didn't dislocate my knee at all or anything. What'd you guys do? You yourself, trainer, coach, doctor, oh, parents? I went, I went to physical therapy for like three months, physical therapy, and then I just had to do workouts like at home and stuff to strengthen it up. Hey, do you wear anything over the lo lower half that oh, you do I have left? I call it the nub shell. It's this hard plastic cover that just goes like over it and protects. I wish I would have brought it today. That's all right. <laughs> okay, so walk us through the rest of the junior year and the senior year. Uh, junior year was a little bit was a lot better. I placed at every tournament we went to. I had a 37 and 16 record, and I was a uh, two and two at districts. Senior year. Senior year. Um, was it was I, it was a lot of fun. I really liked it. Oh, and junior year we won pack. We won our conference for the first time in like 11 years, so that was good. And then senior year we also we won the pack. Um, I had a record of 48 and seven, and two of my losses came at the state tournament. I placed at placed in the top three at every tournament we went to. Medina I took second. The Top Gun I took third. Rumble I took first. Uh, Delaware Hayes, I took second. Sectionals, I was champ. Uh, districts, I took third. And I, I was, it was just a lot of fun. I really liked it. And state, state took fifth. Won my first two matches. Went out kind of. I went out stupid against uh, Gus Seiko, and he pinned me right away. 
then I went out all moaning and like crying about it that I lost and then I ended up losing in overtime for the match to go for third and fourth so then I dropped down and I wrestled a kid that I already beat earlier in the tournament and I beat him seven to nothing nine nothing for fifth place yeah for fifth place all right what was your first thought what was your first thought when you saw Dustin Carter at the state tournament I don't even know I just was like wow I can't believe he's wrestling like that because I know what it's like to wrestle with one leg and then I couldn't believe that I saw him down at the state tournament for that. Mm. I, don't, I don't really know what else. You guys, do you think you can ever, you guys will ever have a match or anything? I, I don't know if he's wrestling in college or anything, but if he does, could be that possibility. Okay. What would you think of someone who would look at you as disabled? Um, I, I wouldn't think of myself as disabled. I can do anything that any other kid can do. I can run, I can... I obviously can wrestle, can play football, baseball. I can do anything that anybody else can do. So I wouldn't look at myself as disabled. What would you say to them? Oh, I'd probably, like, punch them in the face or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't know what I'd say to them. I'd just like, oh, we can go on the mat and we can prove this, see if I'm disabled then. All right, what do you think gives you <laughs> such a – such a? how can you be such a happy kid? You know, like some people would look at this as something – they would dwell upon it. What, why, don't you, why don't you dwell upon it? I don't know. I just don't let it get to me. I just look at the fact that I'm like, just, a, just like anybody else, normal kid. And, uh, I don't know. What would you say your, who, who uh, affected your life and your uh, wrestling career in school, every aspect of your life? Who would you say is your biggest? I don't know. My family has been helping me out a lot, been sending me to camps, and I went to Fargo last year. Then my coaches are always they've always been there and stuff that helped me out. Coaches and family basically. Okay. Anything else you wanna tell everybody about uh, wrestling a guy with one leg? <laughs> Don't underestimate him because he'll get you. He'll get you every time. Alright. <laughs> Justin Toast, thanks for your time, Justin. Yeah.